Hey everyone, this is Major Batman here with another tutorial on how to breathe life into your characters. So today I'm going to show you an easy way to make eyes track a particular target, which adds a little bit extra um, awareness of your characters that they might not otherwise have. So provided your characters have a separate eye bone, you can make a move independently like this. Right, so that allows us so we can see that the pupil was moving there. And so what that allows us to do is actually move this by code. So this is gonna be a, a short code. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new script. First, we're gonna define an eye target. This will probably be the camera. So this is the idea of who they wanna look at uh, when they're close. And then we're also gonna define a default eye target, which we'll have to create. And in our update function, we're going to run a vector 3 dot distance between the transform position of the eyeball and then of the camera. And if it's less than 3 meters, then we want to look at it, right? So the idea is that you're getting into its space, it's going to look at you while you're there. Uh, but otherwise, it wants to ignore you. And this is a way so that not every eyeball in the entire game is looking at you. It might not be the most performant, but it's a little more performant than having every character do this. And then otherwise, we wanted to look at the default eye target. And this transform.lookat is, is amazing by itself. So once we have that script, we grab both of the eyes and we move the script over. And when we open it, we have these two transforms. So we're going to grab the main camera and copy it over to the eye target. And then for the character, we're going to create a new empty. We'll call this default eye target. And so it's down here by default. And so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put it just a little bit in front of the character. And really you can make this whatever. So if they're supposed to be like cooking, you can make it the cooking pan. If you wanted to, they were supposed to be driving, they could look at a, at something on the road. Whatever it may be, you can define it however you, however you want. But if you just put it in front, they're going to look in front. Maybe we wanted to can it off to the side a little bit so that it's not, you know, amazingly perfect but it does look like maybe they're looking at something so then we go back to the eyes and we just copy this default eye target over so let's see how it looks okay so i did have to adjust the um the default eye target out a little bit otherwise it made the individual look a little cross-eyed but we can see that it's looking at this target and when we come in close it's going to look at us and it follows us around up and down and when we're eventually out, it snaps back to where it was originally looking. And we can even make it a little bit better where, you know, the eyeballs don't go all the way to the back of their head like this. But honestly, if it's the camera, they're not, you're not even going to be able to tell, so it doesn't really matter. Well, um, I hope this helped. This allows you to breathe a little bit more life into your characters um, using a simple transform.look at. Uh, if you like this, please give me a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Have a great day.